Kishwar Zubair. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I am going to share with you my bookish bucket list. Now, most people have a list of things that they want to do before they die, like going on a world tour or marrying their favorite celebrity or learning a new skill, etc. etc. These things are in my list too, but I wanted to start with something that I can accomplish right here and right now with the limited resources that I have. Also, these are the things that I wanted to do for a long time but just couldn't do it for no particular reason at all and that's my reading and bookish stuff. So, so I just sat down and made a list of everything that I want to accomplish in this particular area, the bookish area. And today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things from that list. I'm going to be sharing more such lists in the future when I'll be done or almost done with the things that are present in this list. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So the very first thing that's present in my bookish bucket list is to build a reading habit. Now, I read books and I'm reading books from last 5 to 6 years I guess. But I still feel that I don't have a reading habit or maybe I have bad reading habits that I want to change. What I mean to say is that I love books and I follow bookish pages on Instagram and I watch bookish videos on YouTube. And I read too, but then I don't read that regularly and I don't have a regular reading routine which I want to change. There are times when I read one book in one sitting and then there are times when I don't read anything at all for many a days, which is not a good thing. Also, I feel that I don't read that deeply. I mean, I want my mind to be more focused and less distracted while I read so that I can get the most out of a book. So these are the things that I am planning to work on. So the second thing on my bookish bucket list is to buy less books. Now I am on a book buying ban since 1st of January 2021 and it's been almost 4 months and it is going great. But I know myself, I know that I am not the kind of person who wouldn't buy any book at all for an entire year. So I have decided not to buy any book that I won't read within this year. Unless I am getting a steal deal like I am getting a 500 rupee book for just 50 rupees which happens very rarely so I plan not to buy any book at all for an entire year let's see how it goes the third thing on my bookish bucket list is to read all the books that I already own now it is something that almost all the readers want to do but I'm very strict about it this time. I'm on a book buying ban, like I said earlier. But even if I'll break the ban, I'll make sure that I won't read those new books until or unless I finish all the unread ones that are lying on my shelf for years. So the fourth thing on my bookish bucket list is to declutter my bookshelf. I plan to get rid of all the books that I've read, reread, and won't be reading again for a long time. There are many books that I bought. And I don't even remember why I bought them on the very first hand. I don't intend to read them anymore. I've already started doing this. I created this page, Market List Shop, where I share all my used and new books to sell. So if you want to check out my books, if you want to check out my channel, I'll leave the link in the description box. <laughs> also, there are still many books on my shelf that I know I'll only read once if I'll ever read them. So. Yes, I plan to unhaul all such books by the end of this year. The fifth thing on my bookish bucket list is to manage my studies and social media properly. Now we all know that bookstagramming and booktubing isn't easy. These things are not just about reading books and talking about them. These are pretty much time consuming and it requires lots of effort and energy and I always feel that these things do affect my studies so from now on I'll try to learn to manage my studies and social media stuff properly. Number 6 is to spend more time reading and less on social media. Now it is something that I try to do every now and then and I fail miserably every time but this time i am thinking to take it much more seriously so let's see how much i can improve number seventh is to read books and stories that have been adapted to screen now it's a new thing in my life i've started loving films and tv shows that are inspired from books as i find them much more sensible than regular commercial cinema and i also realized that there's a whole new world out there there is so much to explore in this particular genre so yes I am gonna be exploring this thing more often and I'm gonna be talk about 
this too on my YouTube channel from now. The eighth thing on my bookish bucket list is to practice what I read. I'm a huge self-help book fan. I'm reading self-help books from quite a long time. But even after reading these books for such a long time, nothing much or nothing drastic has changed in my life or in my personality, which is not a good thing. So I've decided to change this pattern. I've decided to learn newer things from books and to implement those things in my life. So let's see how much I can improve. Number nine is to read at least 100 great books. Now, ever since I started reading books, I think I have read over a hundred books, but most of those books were not great books. I mean, I used to do this unpaid review work previously and I used to get lots of free review copies by debut Indian authors and yes they were not bad books but they were not great either. I want to read great literature, I want to explore, you know, I, I, I want to read the best of the best, the must reads, you know, but it's just my wish, it is something that I want to do, I in no way intend to insult anybody here. I respect all kind of readers, you are free to read whatever you want to, it's just something that I want to do so please don't get offended. So number 10th is to start a YouTube or booktube channel. I finally did it. I think I ticked this thing off my bucket list and I am so happy about it. After three failed attempts of starting a YouTube channel, I finally did it and I am very happy about it. I really don't know what went wrong previously or why I quit. I promise I won't quit this time. I promise to run this channel as long as I am alive. Also, I want you all to be supportive and to help me and inspire me by leaving constructive criticism. Just let me know how I am doing or what else should I be doing or any video idea, anything, just anything. Just let me know. But remember to be polite. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will mean a world to me. And I'll see you next time with another video. Till then, goodbye.